Hey guys, it's me, Christina Marie. So I'm going to show you how I draw my brows. Um, I know you probably have seen these videos a billion times, but this is how I draw my brows. You can see that I already did a line straight under. And in some portions of my eyebrow, I don't have, uh, I have gaps or lines and things that don't match. Anyways, so this is how I do it. So I typically, I get, this is me. This is what I prefer. I do a Revlon matte. This is the color that I use. I get an angle brush, very thin angle brush. And I tap it in there lightly, getting a good amount on the end of the brush, not all over the brush. And I do a straight line. So check it out. I do it right under. You see that? Now look, I have a corner right there that's missing because I don't want the I want the line to go straight up, right? I don't want it to be this way and then that way and do like a half a moon. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna get close to the camera so you can see. At the most comfortable position for me, I'm going to take that line straight up and fill in that corner. You see that? Just that little corner. Okay. Now, what I do is I shadow it in. So I take the brush sideways and I push up, right? But when I get to the actual very edge, because we don't want that to look like like I'm what the cookie monster or the grouch man or whatever he's called, where he has like big thick eyebrows. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put lines like this. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> going to repeat it on the other eye, but let me finish this one up. So the edges, I'm going to straight down. Now, I don't want really thick, crazy eyebrows. So I don't fill all of it in, but I do make sure that my corners are very perfected. So this corner right here. I'm going to shadow in. This is the biggest mistake women make. Okay, if you have a lot of hair in this section, don't shadow that in. Don't make it darker than it is. If you have a lot, a lot of hair in that section, don't shadow it in. You know, go with the parts that need the shadowing. Those are the parts that I need the shadowing, right? Obviously, it looks like I have a gap right there. So I'm going to just kind of... Okay, now what you do is you take a brush... Okay, I shadowed in the other one really quick. It looks kind of darker. You take one of these brushes. So this is an old mascara brush I have. You could even use a toothbrush for this. Yes, a toothbrush. Anyways, and what you're going to do is you're going to soften that corner. Right? Go right under once or twice and break up that line on the bottom so it kind of just blends into the hair. You see? But make sure that you go on that corner softly little by little. Now you see how it graduates from lighter to darker? That's how you get a soft corner. Make sure you brush it all the way through, kind of soften that out. Now look at that. Isn't that a huge difference? Do the other eye. I figured maybe I should show you the other eye. So that corner right there that's shadowed in because remember, you want your lines to be straight. You don't want them to come up sharply. You see how my line is like straight? See how my line is straight? Now, it wouldn't be straight if I didn't color in that corner right there. Anyways, so remember, do the same thing. I went up, blend that line in there, soften the edges, and make everything else softer. And then take a billion selfies to make sure that they're even. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my little tip. I know you probably have seen a billion videos like this. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends. I'm Christina Marie. I'm out. Bye.